Uh, we got Professor Paul here with us. All right. What's up, guys? All right. And so, <laughs> okay, so this guy is the man, and we're just going to ask you two questions. So the first question is, what is just what you feel like in, in your entire journey of just MMA, fighting, jiu-jitsu? What's just the greatest technical principle or lesson you have that you would share with somebody? Um, hmm. That's kind of a tricky one because I, I think um, greatest principle, obviously, like, like balance and posture would be the ones that you can leverage. Those would be the three biggest ones no matter where you're at in your journey. But you learn those fast early on in, in jiu-jitsu because when you don't have them, you're getting smashed and demolished and you're not finishing anything. So I, I, those are clearly the three no matter no matter what. But um, I'd say as of late, as you get more advanced, uh, the, one of the greatest principles I've learned lately is how important uh, grip fighting is in, in jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I've always known this from a judo standpoint, saying up, but letting high-level guys get an advantageous grip, even in a close guard, stuff that you get away with other guys. I, 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 it's, you know, I was training with Jocker Ray, world champion UFC guy, and um, when he got certain grips, I was like, all right, just, just finish me. You know, I've, I've been training mm -hmm. 20 years. I'm a third-degree black belt. So I think as of late, that's been the biggiggest thing. So are you guys training jiu-jitsu? Your truck is going to show you where to grab, and it is very important you grab there because if you're this much off, or if that partner hand gets a little too deep, even your close guard, you're like, it's going to cost you big. So, um, but yeah, early on, you know, balance and posture are the two biggest things probably in, in, in every athletic thing you can ever do. But certainly, <laughs> yeah, <jiu -jitsu> <laughs> yeah, for, <laughs> there's a million things, right? Yeah. Oh, that was. God, that was insane. Okay, and then the last question is just, uh, you know, just if there's just one life lesson just along your own journey and along just all this, you know, for having, you know, your career, your record, and then built your own academy, like what's just, I guess, the greatest life lesson you've learned? Um, i say that it's taught me to um, understand the process, to like the process. I, I was always a, a, a end of the, like, rewards guy. Um, like I just, you wanted to get to the ends without necessarily enjoying the journey and stuff like that. So I think that's the biggest thing because it doesn't matter if I was training to get my black belt, if I was training for a fight. Um, you know, black belt takes you know, a, a decade to get, you know, so you have to enjoy that process. If you're training in a fight camp, you're going to train eight weeks and put all these hours in to go out and fight for hopefully 15 minutes if you don't get beat before then or something, you know. So, so <laughs> like enjoying that process. If you start a business, you're going to have so much ups and downs and stuff. So you have to come to love the process, not necessarily the outcome. And when you do that, I'm telling you, everything changes because you enjoy your day to day and everything, and it's not just thinking about that outcome and stuff like that. So I think that's the biggest thing. Um, what a mind blowing con You know what I'm like? Eight weeks like preparing for a fight it could sound horrible if you if you hate it, but if you can learn to love it, you're just like, man, well, I'm I'm really blessed to get guys, to do like, this you stuff. You have to learn, like you have to love it. Not not just in a hobby sort of way, but but you have to. Love it because you, for what you're gonna put in into it, you know, you're, you're gonna train that much. You're gonna train for hours a day, and you're only gonna, you're only going out there for 15 minutes. I mean, for the most part, unless you're a title fight, maybe 25. But you're you're spending hours and hours and hours about to compete for just 25 minutes, mm. and it's just, you know, it's not, it's not like a baseball season or a football season. Where you have games every week and mm. stuff like that. So it's just, it's just you go out there for 15 minutes, and then that's it. So you have to come to. You have to love the process. You got to start you know, learning to appreciate the process, understand the process, and when you understand it, then you you, you, you get better at it. And then when you get better at it, then you, you love it. That's oh, when, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, all right. All right. That's that's when you know. So. No, that's incredible. All right. So uh, move over. Okay. So once again, y'all, American Top Team, Professor Paul. It's been awesome. Thanks again. Bless. All right.